Hey friends, uh, my name is Blake and I'm one of the owners of the Bee Supply and I'm also a commercial beekeeper and then I was a sideline and then a small scale beekeeper for many years before I dove in and went into beekeeping full time. And a really common question that we get is what's the difference between a Texas 5000 hive or nook and a golden cordovan? That's a really common question. If you're new to beekeeping or not, it can be a little challenging to decide, hey, which is right for me? So with this video, I wanna give you some of my personal opinions on the pros and cons of the Golden Cordovan and the Texas 5000. Now this hive right here is a Golden Cordovan, and then this one you see over here is a Texas 5000. Now there's a couple main differences in those two breeds. Uh, we breed both of them to be very mite resistant, so we work really hard on our mite resistance program. And I've said it many, time in our, many times in our other educational videos, no bee is completely mite resistant out there. You've got to deal with mites somehow. Uh, but ours are as mite resistant as they are as is available commercially. So if you're just going to go out and buy bees somewhere from a major retailer or buy a queen, we believe ours will stack up perfectly well against any of those. Um, but we never recommend that you buy bees and just ignore varroa mites. At the very least, you need to test. But we have integrated a lot of different VSH traits um, pole line traits, uh, some Minnesota hygienic, all into the Golden Cordovan and the Texas 5000s. Um, the Golden Cordovans tend to be a little bit lighter in color, and they also tend to be very gentle. So we really have prioritized gentleness when it comes to the Golden Cordovans. Um, and so if you have hives in a backyard, uh, an apartment high-rise building, um, if you're you know, have kids and pets all around your bees all the time. If it's in a show and tell bee yard like this one is for us here at the Bee Supply, um, Golden Cordovan is a great option. If your bees are in a little bit more rural area um, and you just really want a really tough, hardy, durable bee, that's what we've really focused on with the Texas 5000s. It's just making a really, really tough, strong bee. The Texas 5000s actually get their name because um, we pick the best hives out of 5,000 hives to find the very, very best, most durable, toughest bees to breed from. So we watch um, and, and observe hives through an entire season. And the ones that produce the most honey um, have the least varroa mite issues, are most durable against foul broods. That's what we select from to breed the Texas 5000. The Golden Cordovans are half from the, um, a breed called the Cordovan breed, which is the most gentle breed that there is. Um, so 50% of the genetics are from that very, very gentle Cordovan breed. And the other 50% are actually our Texas 5000s. So it's kind of the blend of both worlds, the best of both worlds, um, blended into one. One focused on gentleness, the other focused on productivity and durability. Both are pretty gentle. I mean, this is a golden Cordovan hive. And as you can see, it's a pretty cloudy, uh, windy day today. It's going to start raining here in a bit. and so. You normally we wouldn't open hives. I would never recommend you get into bees without a bee veil on, but just so I can show you an example, um, you know, this is our Golden Cordovan hive, and I'm not too concerned about opening it up without even having a bee veil on. Again, I wouldn't recommend that for you guys, <laughs> um, uh, but they are a very, very gentle breed. As you can see, I mean, I open the lid, I can wave my hand on top of them. They're not even really coming out of the hive. Um, now again, don't do this at home, <laughs> but uh, this is just an illustration of how gentle they are. I've got, you know, no gloves on. I'm opening up the hive, pulling the frame out. You know, you can see they're, they're very, very gentle. This is actually a frame completely full of honey. And the bees are pretty light in color. So if I had a different hive here to compare it to, you'd see that these bees are pretty, pretty light in color compared to many other bees. So these are a great bee. Again, if gentleness is what you're going for, this is a great option for you. The Texas 5000s are a bit darker in color. Um, and we'll see if I can get away with this. But to illustrate that they aren't particularly mean either, um, but you can see that it's not like they're attacking me, but I do have two or three buzzing around my face wondering, hey, what are you doing in our beehive? But they're still very, very gentle uh, compared to, to many other bees. So I can open it up, pull out a frame and take a look at them.
So, but again, there are a few buzzing around my head and I don't really want to get stung on the face today. So I'm going to close them up and let them be. Both are great options. If you have further questions, feel free to give us a call. We'd love to walk you through any other questions that you have as you're trying to decide what breed of bee is best for you. A lot of people get one of each. They get a Texas 5000, they get a Golden Cordovan and compare the two as they go throughout their beekeeping journey to see which they prefer. But give us a call anytime. We'd love to answer any questions that you have.